I just sang for members of the European Commission, which was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> I'm in a Swedish submarine because I sang a song about my thesis, submitted it to the Araxis Science Slam, won, and they flew me from North America to Europe to meet other winners from the Araxis Science Slam competition worldwide to experience science, a science communication workshop and to have some amazing meetings and do some really cool things. So what is a science slam? Well, it's like a poetry slam, but for science. Uh, if you know what a poetry slam is, it's basically a competition where groups of people get together and they say their poems live to an audience uh, in an entertaining way and the audience votes and there is a winner, typically. So that's what a poetry slam is. In a science slam, it's the same concept, but you have people that are presenting just about their research. Uh, so it can be pre pretty entertaining. Some science slams are poetry, some sla slams are presentations with PowerPoint. Some have dances, some have songs, some have live experiments. You can really do anything you want, but it has to be entertaining. The Araxis Science Slam is a two-part competition. So the first part, you submit a video. And you can do anything in this. You can do drawings, you can do songs, you can do interviews, whatever. But then in the second part, it's just you live in front of an audience. So if you win the first round, they send you somewhere within your continent or your region and you get to perform in front of an audience. And then at that point, the audience gets to help decide uh, if you can go to Europe. So I am now in Copenhagen. They have sent me to Copenhagen, Denmark, where everybody seems to be speaking German in reverse, and it's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, in my introduction, I told them that I made a music video of my thesis, and they said, can you show us? And I showed it, and there was no audio. So I sang it for members of the European Commission. Okay. Sign slam? What are you doing in a science slam, Jimmy? You slam it up. You, like, you take your slam, science... You, like, slam it! Yeah. Slam it! Yeah. Kill it! Do it! Yeah, so, yeah, Finish yeah. it! Yeah! Kill the science. Except, no, in a good way. Killing it softly. Yeah, it's killing it slowly. With my song, <laughs> killing my whole life. Yeah, so Jimmy's slam was a rap. Yes, y'all. Yeah. The science is not for scientists. We need to know how to explain our things, and that's it. <laughs> so what, did, what was your slam? How did you do your slam? Yeah, my slam was fun. You know, I had to explain the idea that uh, the proteins, when they form gang, they're devil. And on the single unit, they are not devil, they're cool guys. So, you know, I, I literally uh, bought horns. And when I explained the devil, I, I had them gluing on the head. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. awesome. That put the audience in fits. So. Jan told me to meet him at the observatory through the botanical gardens across from the castle. Uh, and I'm on my way there. Seems like he's got quite a beautiful place to work. <laughs> so yeah, what is a science lab? <laughs> well, the science lab is an awesome opportunity for you to share your research with Awesome, awesome people, general public, and to meet, to make awesome friends. Like, like just these right guys? Now, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We came all over Europe. <laughs> we came all over Europe. What? I heard an awesome friend. <laughs> yes, awesome I friend. Heard. Science slams come in a bunch of styles, and really anything goes. The only way to know what works for you is to try things out, but a good way to get a sense of what has worked for other people is to just watch a lot of science slams, and there is a ton of them on the internet. Unfortunately, most of them are in German because science slams are from Germany. But there is a growing list of science videos, of science slam videos on YouTube in English or subtitled in English. I'm gonna put a link to some of those in the description. The lobby of the DLR building in Köln is cool because it has a space station. Not bad, right? Yeah, the, yeah right. the science communication workshop the science is communication awesome. Workshop, it's very awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's so nice. And I can learn a lot about the communication tool and also how to present to non-scientist people. Yeah. It's so nice. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's been a blast. It's been yeah. awesome. Yeah. So science slams 
are cool because I think that the future ed of education needs to not just be accessible, but it needs to be fun. And as is argued in abundance, the future is better than you think, a great book. It also needs to be addictive. And I think that Science Slams are presented in a format that are addictive. That's why they're drawing such huge crowds to the, the places that they're held in Europe and starting now, or starting, I guess, uh, almost two years ago, throughout the world. Thanks for watching, and a massive thanks to Euraxis for making this possible.